Hi, this is Scott Morseburn with eCabinets Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to show you how you can make this upper range cabinet and have this opening here remain whatever you specify it to be. And for that we're going to be using a couple of the new features that eCabinets has introduced in build 6.1 and that is opening locks and part associations. And at the end of the video I'm going to show you how you can put a three piece back in this thing. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and get started. What I've got here is I've got an upper cabinet, three openings with two partitions. I'm going to be removing the back of this cabinet and later on we're going to be putting three separate backs in here. I'm also going to remove the bottom rail and the deck. So I'm going to go into construction settings and for my top I need to put a back inset of the same thickness that I'm going to be using for my three piece back and that is one quarter. I also want to do the same thing for my add shelf settings, both my adjustable shelves as well as my fixed shelves. Now for my back, I'm just simply going to uncheck has back and my deck, I'm going to uncheck has deck. Now here in my face frames, I want to make sure that if I have any deck float assigned to this cabinet, I want to make sure I have that set to zero. If I don't, my styles are going to be undersized by that amount. So make sure you set that to zero. I believe that's everything for right now. I'm going to click OK. There was one thing that I forgot to mention on your partitions here. Right here in construction settings under add partition settings. Make sure that the bottom is butt. Now what I want to do next is go into the face frame editor. So I'm going to just hit F on my keyboard. And now I'm in my face frame editor. I want to go ahead and remove this bottom rail. And now I want to add some mid rails in here. So I'm going to click on my opening here and I'm just going to hit the letter M on my keyboard. And that's going to put my mid rail in there. I'm going to go ahead and do these two openings. Now I can adjust the height of these. What I want is the bottom of this mid rail to be flush with my style. I'm going to come right here and make sure I got top selected. I'm going to set that to zero. And I'm going to do this one the same way. Now this one, I want the height of this opening to be whatever my specifications are for my range hood or whatever it is I'm putting in this opening. I'm just going to use 9 for this one. The next thing I want to do is to change the width of this opening. But before I do that, I want to associate these partitions with these styles. So I'm going to go to Associations and I'm going to click on my partition. You can see it turn yellow right here. Now since it's touching that style, I can select the part or the face frame association, which is going to be the mid style. And this one I want to be the position to be on the right of that mid style. And I'm going to go ahead and give it an eighth inch inset. That's just going to hold it back an extra eighth of an inch. And then my, my right partition, I'm going to select mid style. And I want it to be on the left. And I'm going to give it the same inset. Click OK and you'll see these move. So they've moved over to where I wanted them. And you can also see this blue dotted line. Now I can go ahead and change this opening width to whatever I need it, which is going to be 30 inches. But I want to make sure that I've got both selected right here, so they both move. So 30 and enter. Now I've got my opening like I want it. I want to go ahead and lock these openings. So I'm going to go under opening locks, and right here under opening 1 and opening 2, which is the bottom opening that we set to 0, I'm going to set it to true. Opening 2, if I click on this, you can see this highlight in green. It's highlighting that whole opening right there. I want it set to true also. Now it's always going to stay 9 until I make a change on it. So now opening 3, opening 2, I want it to be true also. I want to also lock this width, but I only had the opening height locked. I want to lock the width also. So I need to select the entire opening here, and you can see it highlight. So I want the, the width locked. I'm going to click true. And it's going to lock that at 30 inches. Now I'm going to click OK. And you can see these red lines. you got a red line on the left and the right, which is locking the width. And one at the top and the bottom, which is locking the height here. The next thing I need to do is put some fixed shelves in here for our decks. So I'm going to go into Shelf and Partition Editor. And the first thing I want to do is go ahead and get rid of this adjustable shelf. What I need to do now is make sure that these existing shelves 
take on construction settings that I set earlier, our quarter inch back inset. Right now, they don't have that. I got my shelves highlighted. I'm going to right click, click on construction settings, and just click OK. Now, those have got my quarter inch back inset. What I need to do now is add some fixed shelves. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and make sure that I got fixed shelf selected. I'm going to click on my opening. I'm going to hit the letter S on my keyboard. I'm going to do the same thing with the other two openings. Now, I need to associate these new fixed shelves to the mid rails that we added. And notice how these are not touching. This one is, but these two aren't. They need to be touching before we can associate them. So I'm going to adjust this opening height to about one inch. And the same with this one. Now I can associate these, so I'm going to go into Associations, and you can see right here we got our shelves listed. If I click on my shelf, you can see it turn yellow. This is one that I want to associate to this rail here. So I'm going to click on my face frame association, drop down here, mid rail, and this time I want this one to be on the top. And I'm going to give it about a sixteenth inset. So I click on this shelf, this one is yellow, that's one I want to associate. Mid rail, top, and 1 16th. This one right here, that's our last one, and 1 16th. And that's going to take care of all of that. I'm going to click OK, and you'll see those move. Now we got all our parts associated. What I want to do next is get my three piece back in here. And for that, I want to use Stretcher, so I'm going to go to the Stretcher Editor, and I need to get my construction settings set up for my stretcher so I'm going to right click go to construction settings and what we're going to be using is left right stretchers up down orientation so I'm going to go to construction parameters and I'm going to make sure that I have my dado depth half the thickness of the material that I'm using for my partitions and my ends in my case 3 8 and I also have left and right construction for my stretchers set to full Dado. I've got a quarter inch thick generic material and I want my grain direction set to be 90. Left to right stretchers, the grain runs left to right. I want it to run up and down. So I'm going to click OK and I can go ahead and put my stretchers in here. I'm going to show you how to do this one. The rest of them are identically the same. So I'm going to click on this end and this partition and add a stretcher and just click OK. And I put that stretcher in there and put it in the center of this opening right here. I'm going to go ahead and get these two in here. What I want to do with these stretchers now is I want to associate the tops of all of these stretchers to the top of my top so that when I change the height of my cabinet, the top of this stretcher will follow this top here. The bottom of this stretcher right here, I want to associate to the bottom of my left end. This one right here, I want the bottom associated to the bottom of this fixed shelf. And of course this one, the bottom is going to be associated to the bottom of my right end. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this one. And I'm going to pause the video, take care of these two, and take the cabinet back to main. So I'm going to select my stretcher, then I want to adjust, go into adjust stretcher, and under advanced, I'm going to take a look at my insets here. What we've got, we got four insets visible here. Inset one, which is the top of our stretcher. Inset two, which is the bottom of our stretcher. Inset three, which is the front. Inset four, which is the back. We're going to be working with inset one, two, and four. Inset one, I want it associated to the top of my cabinet and the top of that top. In set two, I want it associated to the left end of my cabinet and the bottom of my left end. In set four, I want it associated to the left end also and the back of that left end. These right here, I want to leave them just like they are. I'm going to click OK and now I can lock these insets. Okay, so I'm going to set inset one to zero and lock it. Inset 2 to 0 and lock it. Inset 4, I want to set it to 0 and lock it. What I want to do next is make sure that I've got inset 5 and inset 6 locked. Okay, that's important. If you don't lock these two and you resize this cabinet, this is not going to move for you. So I'm going to go done. And now 
I'm going to go ahead and take care of these two stretchers here. Take my cabinet back to main and we're going to test this thing out and see what happens when we change the size. Okay, I got all those situated. I'm back in main here. I want to take a look at the back of our cabinet and see what happened when we got our stretchers in there. So I'm going to hit, hold down my control key, hit end, and that'll take me to my back view. And I want to hide these. Let's see this partition right here. You can see how when we did the full dado on the one on the right and the center one, it cut all the way through except down here. It leaves this little lip. And that's good. That's going to help hide the end grain of our plywood back there. I'm going to go home, control R to restore, and type in a new size. I'm going to make it 72 inches wide by 36 inches high. And that looks like it resized just fine. Let's look at the back real quick. I don't see anything odd going on there. And we can measure our opening. And we should have 9 inches in the Y direction. And we do. So we should have 30 in the X. And we do. So all that's working good. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is come in here and rename these rails that we put in here as well as these fixed shelves and your backs here because right now these are just left right stretchers you change the size of this opening here to be different than this one and you don't have these named you're going to run into problems so make sure you name your parts and that's going to wrap it up for this video guys i hope this video helped you out if it did, how about give me a thumbs up? If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you can get all my latest tips and tricks. And as always, thank you for watching and have a good day.